So something that I truly enjoy doing is reading books. So I want to go ahead and share my book reading list with you folks. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first book, if you're learning C++ that I recommend you read, is a little bit of an older one. It's called C++ for Game Programmers, and it's by Michael J. DeKaiser, who wrote a really, really nice book on C++. It really gets to the core of the important parts. Within the first chapter, he tells you this book's probably going to save you 10 years of your life learning C++, and I really think that it can really help accelerate you learn a lot of different things about the C++ language. Starting off with things like references, how to use inheritance, how it's actually implemented behind the scenes. It's a really good look at the C++ programming language. Now, if you're brand new to programming, it's probably not the right starting point, but I'm assuming most folks here have used some other programming language, so I'd recommend that one. And it's a little bit of an older text, meaning that it's pre-C++11 or the modern C++ style of techniques that we use in this particular series. That said, I find that makes it a little bit more approachable because that's you know, while older C++, it's still good C++. And it's written in a way that is, in a sense, very future-proofed. In fact, the libraries that he references are things that eventually do get incorporated into modern C++, so you won't feel behind. So that's a text that I highly recommend for your C++ journey, and one of the first books that I'd recommend actually reading. Now, the next book that I'd recommend is A Tour of C++, the third edition by Bjorn Strusip. This goes through many of the modern C++ constructs that you'd want to learn, meaning through C++ 20 in this particular edition. So that's going to help you accelerate and start using some of the modern C++ features that can help you become more of a modern programmer, as well as just write more expressive code, saving you time. And it's taking advantage of a lot of the best parts of the language that have really gotten cleaned up. So while C++ is a really wide and a large language with a really large and rich standard library, this focuses on the real important parts that every C++ developer should really know. And then you can venture out to the other parts as needed. So I think that's a really good sort of second textbook to actually read or work through to understand some of the parts of the C++ programming language. While I do also recommend the full text by Bjarne, I'd say the tour is probably a nicer starting point, especially if you're newer into programming. So that's where I would go next. Now, the next text that I really highly recommend is called API Design for C++ by Martin Reddy. And this is because it's a textbook that covers a lot of the typical design pattern types of things that you would also want to be familiar with, but it's from an engineer who worked at Pixar and Second Life and many other large projects sharing their experience about how to use a language effectively. What are some best practices? What are some good design patterns? What are some ways to extend those design patterns? And what are some ways to get yourself out of trouble with things like testing, profiling, documenting your code? So it's really a book that puts together all of your knowledge that you would need to become a software developer and be an effective one in C++. I really like that text. I think it's a little bit of a hidden gem as far as C++ books go. So that would be one of the next books that I recommend after you just have a handle on some of the basics of C++. Finally, after that, I'd recommend Professional C++ by Mark Gregor. It's a really nice, comprehensive look at C++. And when looking at some of these topics, again, that's going to be a comprehensive look at the C++ language, starting from well, the beginning to even more advanced topics. I think it's really important as you're learning a language to see things multiple times, read them multiple times, and sort of understand uh, using different analogies or metaphors, different programming concepts. So that's why really you have to continuously learn sometimes uh, when learning a subject such as C++, which can take quite some time to you know, master or feel very comfortable in as a programming language. Outside of that, the next textbook that I sort of recommend that you can read at any time along this journey, but to say is more effective towards the end would be Scott Meyer's text on effective modern C++. Now, the latest one covers topics in C++14, so you're still sort of up to date there. But these could be just little things that you apply as you are writing C++ code or working uh, professionally at this point. I think they're still very highly relevant, and they're nice because they're uh, usually very applied, you know, small parts of the language that you'd want to take a look at. So that's why I sort of recommend as far as my reading list for C++. Everybody's going to have a little bit of a different one, but those are the nice texts that I'd recommend. Now, again, if you're coming at this as a true beginner, I'd also recommend finding some books that are in your domain. For example, for computer graphics, for me, I like picking up books that are Introduction to OpenGL in C++. 
Why? Well, the C++ tends to not be very complicated. It has to be simple because you're focusing on some other domain. And that also makes the learning fun. So as you're reading through these texts, it's very useful if you can develop a project, maybe a small game, a small text editor, build some data structures, give yourself little milestones so that you can apply the actual concepts that you're learning about in the text. Again, as you're reading, I think what's important is that you're actually following along and building the examples as the author talks about them. And keep your own notes, build your own cheat sheet, start your own video series. <laughs> Those will be ways to really make your learning of C++ much, much more concrete. So folks, with that said, I'm not endorsed by any of these authors. I don't really know any of them personally. So these are just my recommendations on a path to learn C++. And I hope you'll find that useful. And it's been one of the most asked questions on this uh, channel here. So um, I hope that helps answer the question. If you have more, feel free to comment below if you have other favorite texts that you think folks should check out. And with that said, thank you for your time and attention. I hope you'll subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next one.